Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar Tavern blog. So, it, we are in September. Summer is still technically another, what, two and a half weeks? But, realistically, the summer is over. We were told, I had heard, that uh, during Gary Khan back in March, uh, that Paul Stormborg, current president of the Gygax Memorial Fund was talking that they were going to be running a Kickstarter or a fundraiser to sell bricks to pay for the statue of Gary Gygax with the table and benches that people could sit at. And earlier this year, this summer, there was a bench dedicated in the uh, in the same park. There was a bench dedicated to Gary by the way, that bench is a 2023 item. Uh, the tax paperwork that we have access to only goes to 2021. So the numbers I'm giving you are through 2021. All these numbers can be found at the Gygax Memorial Fund. I will give you a link. I give Paul credit for making it easier to find such stuff. So um, I put together the following I can't even call it a spreadsheet, right? It's in Word. But I, I put together the following real quick and easy. And it's the revenue that the fund took in every year and the expenses that the fund has had every year. And I thought we'd make some observations on that. So uh, its initial revenue was over 11000 That was back in 2010. 2010. We're now in 2013. Uh, do we have a memorial? No. Get to that later. Uh, expenses were over four grand. 2011 took in over 15. I believe that these were the auctions, auctions at um, Gen Con that were for Gary and for this fund. But expenses were nearly 13,000 that year. So it, almost a wash. Uh, 2012 and 2013 of the 123,000. And 94,000, respectively. Those numbers, I do believe, are largely from the uh, reprint, the AD&D reprint, the gold gold trim that Wizards of the Coast put out uh, right before the release of 5e. So they're in a dead time of 4e. They were doing a lot of reprints of AD&D products. This was included in it, and there was a portion going to the Gygax Memorial Fund. And I believe that those monies are where that is coming from. All right. So as, after that, after those books were sold, 2014 says 421. Let's take it in. 2015, 566. 2016, $10. Why does that seem like somebody, uh, one of the principles behind the fund were like, oh, we got to make it like somebody cares. Here, I'll put $10 into the kitty. Uh, 2017, 235, 2018, 10, 2019, 101, 2020, 20 bucks, 2021, $110. Now, something that I've noted in the past, I will note again, there is no indication that the monies that are in a bank and the bank is charging a fee, there's no indication that these monies are actually earning interest. I was under the impression that even if you put this into a checking account, why would you put that into a checking account? You'd put it into an interest-bearing account. Even at 1%, they'd be taking in about two grand a year, but they don't. It's a question to be asked. So, over the years, from 2010 through 2011, sorry, 2021, which is 12 years. Again, we don't have 2022. We're in the midst of 2023, so... Don't have those numbers. The fund took in over $245,000. The fund spent nearly $52,000. That means that of the money that came in, they put out, spent 21% of it. Now, if you spent 21%, you'd expect the return. Now, remember... The park bench that we got earlier this year is not in these numbers. So before, whatever the value of that park bench was, 
We'll see that in a couple of years when we get the 2023 tax returns. These are expenses that have been incurred with nothing happening. So think about what the expenses are going to be if something actually comes to happen or gets closer or gets in the mix. So the current balance at the GMF, my numbers came in at 193,768. I did it twice. Their numbers say 193,748. $20 difference, whatever. But this is what I find very interesting. This to me is very telling about the state of the fund. And by the way, Again, the fund has gotten involved in certain stuff in the last couple of years, but it hasn't really done any fundraising as far as I can tell. So, revenue for the last five tax years. Now, what years would that be? 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021. The fund had a total revenue of those five years of $466. Less than a hundred dollars a year. However, during those five years, the fund spent over twenty thousand dollars. Again, you don't have a statue. Um, the plaque in the park was paid for by the kids. You do have a park bench, but it's not reflected in any of these numbers because that didn't happen to 2023. So for five years, over twenty thousand was spent on Expenses of this nonprofit. So for every dollar taken in, they spent nearly $43.86. How is that sustainable? I, I personally don't think it is. Um, and again, I, I still haven't. I asked Gail, what, uh, eight years ago? Um why the money wasn't being put into an interest-bearing account. Uh, she agreed back then to do an audit, but then she deleted her post about doing an audit because I am not an accountant. Okay, I don't run nonprofits, but I do know accountants, and I do know people that run nonprofits, and this is not feasible. This is th this revenue or lack thereof. With these expenses, while accomplishing essentially nothing, um, it leaves the questions. So if you have questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. If you have answers, feel free to add them to the comments below. I'd like to, I'd like to hear and, and see both. But uh, I will leave a link to the Gygax Memorial Fund so you can look at the numbers yourselves. You can look at the tax filings. It's, 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 I'm glad that they made it easy access. I used to have to go and, and dig a little deeper to find such. Uh, when Paul came on board, that was one of the first things he did. So thank you, Paul. But, uh, yeah, take a peek for yourself. They're, supposedly they're going to be asking for money soon. Ask them, why should I give money if your expenses – or nearly 44 times your revenue. How does that work? How is that feasible? Inquiring minds want to know. All right, folks, on that note, as always, be safe, be well. God bless, roll those dice, roll them well. Uh, back tomorrow with another video. Uh, back on Wednesday with a live stream. It should be a good time. All right, folks. I'll catch you later.